Hi there, and uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. As you can see behind us, we have a cat joining us today. She'll be good, I promise. All right, so speaking of today, today we're going to kind of review the Birchbox On Trend Korean Beauty uh, curated box for the month of January. I unboxed it uh, already and uh, I'll have that video for you guys in the description box and we can kind of just talk about it. Let me set this up. Oh, okay. That's what we're going to get today. So, uh, oh, I'm having issues with my camera. There we go. Alright, so I've got my thoughts written down on this lovely notebook here. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through everything one by one. I would hold up the products, but quite a few of these products were, um, they were foil packets, so I, they had to go in the trash right away. So I've got, I'm not going to hold them up, but I will uh, link to the unboxing so you can see what they look like, and I'll have a picture up over here for you guys of everything. So let's do this. So I've got the card and I'm going to go through what I've written down on these things and kind of based off in order of the card. So the REP Bio Fresh Mask with Real Calming Herb. I do have that one nearby and it looks like this. Um, it helped, it claims to help with redness because it has calo and clay in it and uh, it's soothing and it has calming herb. And in my uh, original video of the unboxing, I was like, what the hell is calming herb? Well, I did a little looking into it and the the calming herb is uh, calangiol and chamomile. So they are ones I've heard of. I just didn't, it's like, there's no such thing as a calming herb. You just need to, what's the name of the damn herb? It does have a smell. Um, when I first did the unboxing, I didn't smell it, but then when you rub it into your face, it really does smell very, I guess, herby, kind of like chamomile. And uh, it dries rather quickly onto the skin. It says to uh, place it in a thin layer, even layer across the skin, but it's really hard to do because it does start to dry like almost instantly on the skin. Um, and then you sit and then you just wa kind of wash it off. And it, it, it comes off very well. Um, it, did, it did help with the redness of my skin and it soothed some of the uh, flare-up the flare I have going on on my skin right now under, underneath my makeup. The record, but I do. Uh, it soothed it, and it h did help with that. But I would probably not look into purchasing it um, because a full size is forty-one dollars. Uh, this little sample will last a while, so that's that's a positive. All right. So uh, the next thing is the Ipkin Flash Cream Radiant Primer, which I have right here, and I gave this a go. Uh, yesterday and today, and it says 3D effect uh, radiant primer with a natural glow, healthy complexion, so on and so forth. It has uh, sunscreen in it, and it says uh, do not use on damaged or broken skin, so I had to be very careful about things uh, regarding it hitting the area right here that's uh, more of an open eczema mess than anything. So. I did good. It did get on that area and it didn't burn or sting or anything, so that was fine. Uh, when you put it on your skin, it does start to glow. It's very glisteny um, and oily, and I did you you know use it underneath uh, a dewy foundation, so it helped with the dewiness. I used it underneath a mat yesterday, and it was still a little a little dewy, but it wasn't so bad, so it can be matted down if you need to. Um, as for wearing it alone, because it claims that you can. Wear it alone for an around-the-clock glow. It looks more oily on its own than it does glowy. So, not much. Um, I would probably not purchase this. Uh, full size is $28. I wouldn't purchase it um, just because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's hydrating in a way, but it's not really the most hydrating thing in the world. It doesn't help with pores. It just kind of gives you a glisten. And if I want that type of glow, I can just squirt some of my liquid highlighter into my foundation and I've got the same effect. So uh, pass on that. 
All right, the next one is the uh, Tony Moly Delight Tony Tint in Red. Uh, it's in my purse right now. Uh, that's why it's not in, not around here. It's actually in my purse because I took it to work with me when I wore it. Um, it's it does smell like cherry. Very, it really smells like cherry, and it does. Uh, it's it it is red where it stains. The problem is it stains very unevenly, and it will cling to any dry patches. And if your if your lips are not plump, um, or smooth it's just not it's gonna go into your lines and it just does not look good if you'd like an example go look at my covergirl uh roses review i was wearing it in that and you could tell it's it's not even um i did end up later on after uh wearing it for a couple hours just throwing a nice nude lip over it and it gave a nice really cool ombre effect um but I wouldn't wear it on its own. Uh, on the plus size, it, it is on the plus side. It is it is six dollars for a full size, so it's not like it's super expensive. And I might purchase some other shades just to wear underneath for the ombre effect. But I don't think it's the greatest tint uh, in comparison to like Benetint or Lolly Tint from Benefit. Uh, it's not as great, and it's very hard to get like a nice shape. If you want it right just in the, like the middle of your lips you'll get it but elsewhere not really um I do want to give them credit for making a richly liquidy pigmented red without including uh, food dye in it uh, so that's really awesome and I really appreciate that uh, as somebody with a food dye allergy it is a plus when a company does that so moving on so the next thing on this this list is the Manifit Beauty Planner Cucumber Soothing and Moisturizing Sheet Mask. It says mask, but it was the sheet mask. Um, I don't obviously I don't have the packaging anymore because it went right in the trash afterwards. But I did do it, and um, it was quite soothing. It was very hydrating. It soaked into the skin very well. The sheet itself was fairly durable, so it wasn't like you were trying to open it up and it ripped. It went on very well. Um, and it was a very nice relaxing experience. Um, the, obviously this, the hydration didn't really last the longest, but it did do some temporary soothing and I would totally, uh, repurchase them. Uh, I have actually looked and see if I can find them on some Korean beauty sites instead of paying the five for $10 thing, but I think I will have to just suck it up and pay and buy, uh, five of them at a time so there you go uh next thing is the good all water rest first essence it looks like this um it's a high-tech formula with hyaluronic acid and fermented lotus flower to help skin retain moisture and you're supposed to tap it into the skin until it's absorbed as essence is the key to dewy skin it didn't do shit I just, I, it didn't do shit. It was awkward to use. You don't get a lot out to tap in and it kind of burned in my, on my flare up. So it was just like, no, would not, no, did not do anything for me. Um, it is $30 for a full size. And if it doesn't do anything for me as a sample, I'm really not going to purchase it. So that goes uh the bonus uh pack pack thing with it i haven't used one and i'm not going to probably use it just because of my experience with the other this is the yerba mate bubble peeling and yerba mate cleansing foam packets um the peeling removes dead skin for brighter complexion the cleansing foam balances oils and detoxifies the skin and exfoliates so uh this is not suitable for somebody with dry skin just flat out. That is why I'm not going to use the other one. I used the cleansing foam last night. It's just not suitable if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, this is probably good for you. This is great for you. But it is a foaming uh, cleanser. So it's very drying. Um, it does work into the skin very well. And it's a very thick, thick cleanser. Like I was having issues getting it out. It's thick like toothpaste thick. And... Um, it can work into the skin. 
when it went over any patches or flare up area, it was burning. Um, it did, after rinsing it off and washing it off, leave my skin feeling tight. So obviously, it, uh, if you didn't know, if your skin feels really tight after, tight and squeaky clean after you wash it, uh, you, it's dehydrated and it's dried out your skin. So it wasn't suitable. Uh, after putting on some moisturizer and kind of letting the moisturizer so soak in, uh, and I used my own, my, my normal CeraVe moisturizer, uh, it, I could feel that it did exfoliate. So that's a plus, but it's not worth, the exfoliation's not worth it if it's going to dehydrate my skin and dry me out. Uh, so I'm not saying this is a bad product by any means. I'm just saying it's not suitable for my skin, which is quite dry. If you have oily skin, this could be a very good option for you. It's a great cleanser. It did a great job of cleaning my skin. It did a great job of exfoliating. The problem is it was just too drying, so it just doesn't work. But if you have oily skin, I would give this a go. Just how that is. And I'm not gonna, I might give this a try, the, uh, the bubble peeling, but I'm kind of, on the same thing like is this going to be as drying and there's no like the ingredients aren't English so I can't compare and see if it's got like SLS in it to cause the drying so there you have it um so that's my thoughts on the Korean box again I gave everything a good test I give it a good go uh fair shot I feel and uh there's nothing in here that makes me like jump for joy but Minus the sheet mask. I do like sheet masks, though. But I don't think it's terrible products. Um, if you're into Korean beauty, maybe this is a great collection of items to just t test out. But as for somebody getting into it, I'm not finding anything that makes me go, Wow, this is amazing. This is different than stuff I own or I've tried and I've liked in the past. Like, in f as far as exfoliating goes, uh, I've received a... Uh, Real Chemistry 3 Minute Peel uh, from Birchbox in the past and I've absolutely loved it and it was amazing. I don't see myself finding something a little bit... Nothing in this does better than what that did. Um, the the primer, I didn't... It's not much better than me putting my moisturizer underneath or using Benefits Professional. So it's kind of like not really a thing. If I want glowy and dewy, I can just add liquid highlighter or a little bit of oil to my foundation and I'll get the same effect. Um, as far as the first essence goes, I didn't notice anything different. My fiance didn't notice anything different. It was just kind of like, so you just put stuff in your skin and it didn't do anything. Um, the, the, the BioFresh mask it did reduce some redness and soothing, but I don't think it's worth the price. Um, so that's just how that is. I will use up the sample, but I'm not not gonna go for the full size uh, so yeah there you go there you have it um I hope you enjoyed this and maybe other people had different thoughts maybe people who are a little bit more versed in Korean beauty have different thoughts for me cream my extent of Korean beauty experience is sheet masks and uh, that's about it so it was really nice to have a little look into some of the products out there and I don't think it's my thing. Um, or maybe I just didn't try the right products. Who knows? We'll figure it out. So, um, if you like this content, awesome. If you want to see more like this, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Do whatever you gotta do. Uh, if you really want to stalk me and follow me on the internet, I've got social media and I've got uh, Snapchat. And they're all fueled by makeup. And I've got a blog where I'm going to have a written review of everything I talked about. Um, and that's fueledbymakeup.com. So you can just click that link. It's in, the, it's in the description box. And you can find the review and you can see what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I will have a full review of my regular birch box when it arrives. Um, I have seen the preview and... It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like my December one where I'm just like, Bleh. it's looking pretty good so far. So, there we have that. So, uh, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.